It's comeback time for customer experience management software Sprinkler, up 90% on the year, turning around an almost two year slide since the debut. Let's bring in the CEO back with us. Raji Thomas is the founder at Sprinkler. It and uh, CXM, the ticker, you guys are ripping here over the last uh, six months. Raji, did uh, the world just come to appreciate your guys' software? Are you making a big AI pivot? Uh, Oliver, good to, good to see you again. I think we're only getting started. Uh, we are loving the fact that the world is catching up to the AI drumbeat that if you read our prospectus, we, we spent about seven pages of our prospectus describing our AI power and how we're an AI first company. At your it's, debut, it's, since the get go. Absolutely, what's happening is uh, the market's moving towards our vision, market's finally understanding that customer facing functions need to come together so that marketing and care can work together and within customer service and in the contact center, the voice agents should be able to seamlessly switch to email or chat or Facebook or Twitter or whatever these channels are. And so we've moved to the contact center space. We've, uh, world is recognizing AI and our bigger customers are buying more. So as uh, of course you've been on here before, we've talked about your earnings a few times around. Uh, but given the power of the move and the focus here on the subject matter of artificial intelligence, remind us where that plays a role in your business because as customer experience management, I've got mixed feelings on getting sent to a robot. Where does the robot or where does the AI come into play? It's not that you're actually creating a robot to like chat with me, right? It's more that you're using machine learning to figure out what the customer needs. Uh, walk us through it. All right, let me just, um, just take a step back and, and just level set on what we do. We do uh, customer service, marketing and advertising, and customer insights and social media for very large global companies. Everything we do is understanding unstructured data, the way human beings talk to each other. It's about bringing the data in, and we have thousands of models that read and understand over 100, 100 languages. We've been training it for the last five years with over 100 million data points. Now we're able to understand the intent of what we're saying, route it to the right person, help that person solve that problem faster than any other technology in the marketplace today building a, essentially a language platform uh, to communicate with uh, customers of uh, different languages. And uh, before there's this big chat GPT kind of publicity revolution. So what do you make of it, Raji? I mean, is it something that is brand new that you've never seen before? Or, or, um, or do you see your own technology as kind of having, uh, you know, predated this a little bit? Well, our technology predates it. What's happening, though, is with the revolution in generative AI, our AI is getting wings. I'll give you a simple example. In the contact center, we have multiple products that are completely powered by AI, one of which, you know, chatbots are obvious ones, and another one is agent response, smart responses, as we call them. So we have the ability to suggest to an agent how to respond based on the 5,000 cases that look like the one he's dealing with. Mm. And what's happening with generative AI is instead of a cryptic, hey, try this, we're able to give them a full script. So the adoption of that feature, in some cases, we're seeing that go up 300%. So we're able to kind of make it more real for agents because most of the AI we had before was just in the background routing and optimizing and smart bidding. I see, so it would just kind of send the agent into a direction based on the uh, you know the dots they connect of previous interactions, but now an actual script uh, can be uh, offered. Do you have to pay to use Chat GPT uh, language? How does that relationship look right now? Are there any costs associated with integrating this new AI technology? Obviously, we announced a contract with uh, OpenAI, and we're very excited about it. 
where we think this going, in, we see this going in the long term, is that these models are beginning to get open source. I, I, I'm sure your audience, you're aware of, yeah. uh, out from the Middle East, there was an announcement of a model called Falcon uh, 40B. That's a LLM, a large language model. It's very competitive. That's just being made available in an open source fashion. So our engineers take these models usually and customize it for ourselves and train them on our data data so that the responses are very predictable. And that's what you need for large brands. You know, there are countries that are running on Sprinkler now, so we can't afford to be off brand for a second. Okay, uh, your revenue for the quarter uh, was 20% on an annual basis growing. Uh, customers with over a million dollars were up 28% on an annual basis. These were earnings that just came out a few days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, the bottom line, um, that uh, still operating at a loss on a gap basis, right? Uh, what does the AI adoption and acceleration with this new technology mean for your financials, the trade-off between growth and profit? Because uh, in this, the six months before basically the chat GPT revelation, investors wanted profit and we saw companies like sprinkler stock get punished for basically a year as the market was kind of coming out of this covid revenue boom and people were saying all right we want profit does any of this change uh, uh, your priorities what are they well they wanted profit we're giving them profit as an investor you should be pretty happy that we announced that non uh, non-gap operate net operating income of 11 million dollars this quarter so we're well on our way uh, to being a pretty profitable company and we're putting money in the bank does uh, the revenue accelerate from here? Do you think that this uh, 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 new uh, uh, effort can re-accelerate revenue? What we're seeing is the market's consolidating. We are quickly becoming, after Salesforce and Adobe and potentially Microsoft, we are becoming the fourth or third or fourth platform in the front office for large companies. And we work with you know, over 80 of the top 100 and all 10 of the top 10. And that's allowing us to kind of uh, ride this wave of point, sol point solution consolidations uh, that, that CIOs are beginning to lo love. All right. Uh, Raj, thanks for the update uh, on the strategy and looking forward to following along. All right. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Sure thing. Raji Thomas, CEO, founder at Sprinkler. All right. A, a good, uh, useful conversation to understand the developments here for AI, how they fit into businesses that were already using some form of AI. Sprinkle shares up big this year, almost doubled.